Hello and welcome back to my channel. Well, if you thought that I had only a new, one new toy, I have news for you. I actually got two new toys. So let me just show you again. This was my original frequency counter or frequency meter from Surecom. On the right here, I got my SW33 and I did a video review already on that. Or not a review, but an unboxing. I will do the review soon. And this is the new one that came together in the same shipping. Shipment, I mean. Um, by the way, I bought those both under the pre-release or pre-order uh, timing, which I got some great prices on those. But still, under the current discounted prices, they have, uh, you know, they are good, good prices for very good devices, I believe. So let's look into what this is. Uh, this is actually a antenna analyzer. So let's see. Uh, yes, I bought from 409 Shop. Uh, by the way, the customer support at 409 Shop has been tremendous. Uh, uh, I had some delays uh, on 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 the shipping, not related to their end, and they were tracking that for me until I got this in in, in record time. So again. Uh, very, very good customer service. I used the WhatsApp to connect and uh, I got a great uh, impression of how committed they, they are um, in, in, in having their clients, uh, you know, happy. So this is a five bucks uh, coupon. That's great. I have for my next uh, order. So let me put this aside. So this is the antenna analyzer, how it, you know, that's the user's guide, right? It, it's really a nice one. Uh, it has a, a graph uh, capability, a graphical capability. Um, it looks like the previous device they released, which had VHF and UHF. This is HF only. So this is from zero to, I believe, uh, 30 uh, or 60, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, zero to 60. So it does include the six meter band and that's exactly what I was looking for. And this has been released a little later than the other one. So this is a brand new, uh, brand new device. I'm not sure even if there are many uh, out there at this point. So let's see what comes with that. Again, if you saw my previous video, you saw this um, USB adapter with US prongs. I don't know if, let's see if I can, again, cope with me here because I have no idea if I would be able to get some sharpness on this. I like to always look into that, but it's five to it's five volt one amp and it's from 100 and oops. Let's see if I can get that. I know it's up to 240, so it's 100 and something to 240. So again, uh, it should work uh, overseas with higher voltage like 220 or 240 uh, with a prong only adapter not requiring a transformer okay so that should be fine the cable so normal USB you know this is the micro USB cable to charge the device and this is the device itself so let me look into that wow that's heavy and as I can see, much more, um, I think a better built, uh, this is a plastic one, so I'm just showing the frequency meter, I'm not saying this is bad, I'm just saying this is a nice polymer case. This at this point, um, it's really a metal, metal case, so let me open that. Wow, the fuse is sturdy, um, I like that, it's a BNC connector. On the top again, um, you're gonna probably need an adapter to do UHF or anything else, but you know, plenty of adapters over there. Um, we have a knob selection over here which it clicks positions like a rotary uh, frequency changer or some, something like that, and some touch buttons here that you can, you know, actually initiate, do some testing, and be ready for the scan, right. So, so let's see if we can see what I'm seeing here. I can pretty much use the same commands or 
you know, how do I go down, how do I get this up, I can't do the scanning, I will read the user's guide, not guessing much, this is a little bit more complex than the custom I got here on the side, but the, the good thing, let me put an antenna here, well, forget about that, I mean, I, I don't know how to operate this yet, so let me read the user's guide, and I will do some um, testing later on that. So just for dimensions purposes, so let me power this off, and done, okay, I will take the antenna off of this guy here, so let me take this uh, antenna out, and then you can have some idea of dimensions, uh, you know, compared with the the old one, right? I mean the, the frequency meter. It's a little narrower, I you know, almost the same width, taller for sure. If I put you know together like this, you can see. Uh, oops, there's at least a good you know difference in uh, maybe a centimeter or so in height, and definitely uh, much heavier based on the fact that actually it is a uh, metal case. The screen itself uh, looks about the same size to me, as far as I can tell. So yeah, the, the useful area of the screen, right? I have some some area here that it's not part of the screen, but if you illuminate both, let me do that so you have an idea. So let me power the both up. And you can see the screens are, you know, the, the again, there is some optical illusion here on the left because of this polished portion here, but the screen starts at this point, goes all the way to this point only, which is pretty much the same size as on the right side. It came almost fully charged, which is nice, so I'm gonna try to play with that, learn a little bit, and come back with a, a, a video. And by the way, I'm gonna do a performance or use uh, on all three devices, so that should be fun. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and like it, the videos. Thank you, bye-bye.